Okay, so I finally got the PS2 emulator working on the Raspberry Pi 5 and it's actually working surprisingly well. I've done a shorts video uh, just showing one game, but I'm going to go through more of the games and just show more details on it. Uh, I'm still using my USB hub because at the moment I'm still using a Raspberry Pi 4 power adapter, so there's no chance of me overclocking on that. Uh, I'm hoping to get the Raspberry Pi 5 power adapter fairly soon. I've also got one on order as well. So let's skip into screen capture and have a look. Let's close this down. Uh, I've got all sorts of things running at the moment. So you can see here with NeoFetch, Raspberry Pi 5 Model B running LXDE Pi Wayfair as the desktop environment and it's running the Windows Manager of Wayfire. 2.4 gigahertz, so again, no overclocking and it's currently only using about a gig of my eight gigs that I've got on there. So to start this up, let's go to the folder where I've got my PS2 and uh, it's this image I've been using uh, which is the 1.0 it's only because this is the first one I've got to work but I've been doing things in a different way I'll do a tutorial on how to set it up and install it, it there's quite a few steps at this stage but obviously everything's in beta at the moment and it's more a case of just trying to get it to work so uh, if I go open in terminal and then launch it with this. There you go, and I've put some more games in there. Uh, so let's go from the top. Burnout 3 Takedown, uh, or let's go into settings, and I've, I've not changed anything on this. So ordinarily what I do is lower the desktop resolution. This is running at, at 1080. I think it's running at 1080. Screen one, resolution, yeah, 1920 by 1080, I thought it was. So settings and graphics. I've got Vulkan selected at the moment. I've, I've literally left this as is, and I was so surprised that uh, Pro Evolution Soccer works so well. So native PS2 resolution. So we do have the option to scale that up in a minute. Let's close that down and just try and launch Burnout 3. And you can see 25 frames a second at the moment. Okay, so I think we can see it's not very good at the moment. Uh, so I'm going to quit out of that. Try right, so Castlevania. And these aren't official Vulcan drivers at the moment because there are no Pi 5 ones uh, officially at the moment. So bear that in mind. Performance will definitely improve. And also we have a huge amount of overclocking possibilities. People have had uh, 3.1 gigahertz stable. So I'm running at stock 2.4. The intro's fine. Yeah, that feels good. So 91%, 92%, 100%, Yeah, the speed feels good. Can I go in here? Not really sure what I have to do in this. You've done well to come back. Is there anything you need? Looks like I probably need to go up here. Yeah, it's coping with this. We haven't got any enemies yet. Okay, well it seems to be coping pretty well with that. Let's exit and save state so I can always go back in the right point. Downhill domination, I think this probably runs alright. Okay, no struggling with the menus at all. It's definitely not struggling with that, with the camera moving really fast in the environment. Oh no, I'm not pedaling. Oh, I'm punching. Oh, it is X. I can't, it's too fast to look at the, uh, what does it say? 98%, 96%. I can't look at the, I'll try and make it bigger so you can see what it's like. But yeah, that seems to be coping quite nicely. Not struggling at all. Well, I need someone to punch, don't I? Oh, through that gap. Yeah, I'm happy with that. That's pretty frantic. <laughs> right, so 
Nice to see it running without having to lower that desktop resolution. Uh, that gives me loads of hope. Because I, with the uh, Dolphin emulator, I dropped it right down to 640 by 480 to get the best from it. I'll exit and save. So I'm probably not going to bother with FIFA 13 because I showed Pro Evolution Soccer, Prince of Persia. This might be harder to run because I think this was a later game. Segmentation fault. This is a fault that I had earlier on. Segmentation fault. Vulcan implementation testing use only. Let's go with SSX3, although I don't think I've had that working. Full screen works all right this time. Seems to be loading pretty quick. If I didn't mention before, I'm running it from a 64 gig micro SD card. Definitely better performance from micro SD card on the Pi 5. Uh, it's said to be twice as bad. You can see this is going to be too slow. You can hear it from the audio as well. Time that well. Oh dear. <laughs> Spider-Man 3. Again, the audio and the intro is fine. Strong attack. Okay, you've got to get a bit closer for the strong attack. Yeah, it's definitely slowing down a little bit, isn't it? You can see, what is it, say 84%. A few more enemies might cause it to slow down a bit more. What do the shoulder buttons do? Oh, three hit combo. Square, square, triangle. Okay, that would have done it. Yeah, nice. So, a bit slow. We're looking for that overclock and official support. But again, this is, this is such an early stage with this beta software and no proper drivers and it's so impressive to get this working so early on. Right, quit out of that. Uh, I'm imagining Shadow of the Colossus probably isn't going to be good because it's it's pretty full on graphics on it but let's give it a go. When you look at that resolution of 512 by 448 we've definitely got room for moving this down a bit as well and can I go Full screen. Not sure if that's helped or not. I don't think we've got a bit of slowdown even on the uh, on the intro. And remember, we'll get Android support soon. Uh, and graphics drivers in Android tend to be really good on ARM. So maybe they will run better because yeah, this is not worth. That's not worth running if it's if it's slowing down on that bit. In fact, I didn't. Yeah, it didn't even want me to quit out. So here's some Pro Evolution Soccer, which is the 2014 version, but this is with the 2019 update, which just basically updates all the team names and things like that. So if we go England v, let's say France. And I'm so used to playing EAFC that all the buttons will be wrong, but it's still a great game. Let's see if we can try and get a goal. Oh, not a good start. I don't know what tackle is. <laughs> it's definitely not that. Okay, that's the hard tackle, which I think was X. It still feels really snappy today. Has nobody got pace? Who have I got? Carl Walker's not got pace. I can only seem to do sliding tackles. Let's get that out there. Well, that's good. No, can't dribble past them. All the audio is perfect. Ooh. See, he can outrun me. Who's that? Griezmann. Oh, savage. The graphics actually look all right. Should I try this as two times uh, because it's working so well? Which I didn't try on any other games because I didn't think they were working well enough. That's a different menu here. Game display, on screen display. It's going to be one of these. Normal speed. Renderer. Vulcan. Ah, here we go, internal resolution. So let's just go to two times and see if that makes it look nice and smooth. 
Oh, it does look nice. Yeah, that looks great. And it still feels smooth. Get that mouse pointer out of the way. Little through ball. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh, yeah. Right, okay, so... Yeah, I'm happy with that. So let's just quickly try Burnout 3 again now that we've lowered the resolution. Okay, my background doesn't look quite as good. Uh, so, get back in here and launch that. Oh, why would that be too large? Okay, well we can at least see enough to be able to launch Burnout. <laughs> okay, it's pretty much the same. We've got a couple of settings here that, that we can change. Go with minimum blending accuracy. Let's see if that setting will make a difference. Right, let's try one more time. Let's just try Spider-Man again because that was on the edge of working. Uh, and so maybe these little tweaks might have done it. Crikey, that's definitely faster. I tried to put frames per second on but it didn't show up. But that's definitely faster. Feels like it might be missing some frames or something though. So it feels a bit more jittery. Yeah, that's definitely faster. Oh, I'm going back to burnout then. <laughs> okay, it's pretty much the same. So what I need to do is find the location, but not twice. PS2. And so I was using 1.0, so let's use this one. So let's just hit rename just to get the name of it. Control A, Control C. And then what we need to do is navigate to this folder with the terminal. So open current folder in terminal, and let's paste that in, but at the start of it, chmod plus x, and then dot forward slash, and then paste that in. Okay, so four frames per second, so no, burnout's definitely out. So at the moment it's early days, and obviously some games are gonna work fine, other games aren't gonna work as well. Uh, but uh, once we get overclocking in, better graphics drivers, uh, it'll be really interesting to see how well Android performs on it as well. So uh, I hope all this helps. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.